Coach, what brings you to Fort Wayne here today? Well, I'm here for a uh, golf outing for what's called the CVC, the Cardinal Varsity Club, and a lot of Ball State alumni here, and always always great to be up. Why is it important for you to talk to the uh, alumni of the school? Well, we, we have such a great, strong base here, you know, and, and I, I think when you're in Muncie, you know, you need to reach out to the surrounding communities, and we have so many Ball State alumni in the state. Try to touch and feel as many as we can. Always helps when you've got some Northeast guys on your squad. So what can we ex expect from your squad this year, especially from our Northeast Indiana guys? Yeah, well, we have quite a few, and, and two in particular from right around here, and Kyle Mallers and uh, Bracken Hazen. And Kyle's had two good years for us, continues to get better, and I think people will be very uh, excited to watch Bracken. He's really worked very hard in his off year and his shot, and um, he's shooting the ball great, and, and uh, it's going to be a big addition for our team. How about Kyle? You know, Kyle's, Kyle's been a joy to coach. He's, he's, he was a good player in high school, but his, he's improved dramatically every year he's been with us. And um, he had a great sophomore year, and you watch him now in the summer. He's even better than he was a year ago and just very focused, you know, on pace to graduate in three years and excelling in the business school, doing great on the court and represents our program the right way on and off the court. You'll have uh, three North, Northeast Indiana guys come next fall, I guess. Um, what, what is it about this area, I guess, that, that you guys have been successful in recruiting? And I guess what is it about this area that, that you guys like recruiting? You know, I think the brand of Ball State is very strong everywhere we go, but certainly here in Fort Wayne. People know our school, and that helps. And, you know, for us, we're just trying to recruit the best players in the state wherever they come from. And, and um, the basketball tradition in Fort Wayne is strong like it is in much of Indiana. So when there's a good player here, it's close. And, and uh, and we can use that Ball State brand to try to, to, try to get them to come. You guys are in the, uh, the new Shondo practice facility now. Uh, what's it like after, final, after waiting, finally to be able to be in there? Yeah, it's awesome. We just uh, had practice there this week for the first time. And uh, it's beautiful. It's got great space. Court's outstanding, really well made. And uh, a great addition for our guys. You know, now they have, they have access to facilities to get better 24-7. And that's a big addition. You know, we need we need to give our guys the space to try to become great. And to me, that's part of our commitment to them when they choose Ball State. And you know, now we have it. I'm curious, after a few months, how you've kind of reflected upon last season. I mean, with everything that you guys went through, you still get 20 wins and and, and have some success. But but how, how do you view last season, and, and how are you guys trying to get better from it? You know, it's it's really a double-edged sword. You know, on the one hand, I'm really proud of our team for overcoming a tremendous amount of adversity. Uh, particularly in the last is, losses act, which was very hard, and and extraordinarily proud of the way our kids came together, and uh, and uh, supported each other throughout the year, and and we finished with 19 wins. And uh, the other edge of that coin is that I feel like we could have been at 22 or 23. Should have been at 22 or 23. So there was a feeling at the end of the year that we left a few chips on the table, and uh, and I think that's a big motivator for all of us, and certainly is for me here in the off season. What's going to be the difference maker to allow your team to be successful again? Or well, more? we have to, you know, a big part of our culture is improvement in the offseason. So right now we're locked in on making sure guys are committed to their craft in the gym, getting better. We have everybody on campus for summer school, so we're able to work together as a team. And a lot of the guys are doing above and beyond um, what they're required to do with us. And that's, that's really our focus right now. And then next year it's going to be, staying together like we did last year, but limiting the off-court adversity is a big part of it. You guys uh, went 14-2, I believe it was, at home last year. Yeah. What, how important was that home court advantage for you? The home court advantage is great. You know, we've steadily gotten bigger crowds as, the, as, the, uh, as my time here has gone. And this past year, the, the support at home was great. I thought that made a big difference. In particular, the Ball State students were showing up in big numbers consistently throughout the year. And I thought it really created that atmosphere you want to have at home and made our guys really look forward to the home games. And we have to build on that. And we have to build on our success there. And we have to continue to give the fans reasons to come to the game because it makes a big difference. You just heard a, a guy who, uh, who played here at IPFW and, and Ben Botts on your staff. Um, yeah. How is he adjusting? And I guess what was it about him that, that, uh, that caused you to hire him? Well, you know, Ben had a great reputation, but the, the, uh, he was an easy choice for me because Muncie Central and local guy and well thought of, but I didn't hire him because he was an easy choice. I hired him because he was the best choice. And in the process, I call around to a lot of the key people in the state uh, from a recruiting standpoint, and I just asked them to give me names 
of who they feel like does the best job of recruiting the state of Indiana. And Ben's name came up everywhere I went. And, uh, and it really validated a lot of the things I'd already thought about him. So I'm thrilled to have him. And uh, he's, he's a really good basketball coach. He's a very hard worker. He knows the state inside and out. And uh, he's already made a good impact on our program. Let's go. Appreciate it.